Universal Analysis is TA data analysis software for all thermal techniques, DSC, TGA, TMA, DMA, and DEA. Today's tech tip explains how to analyze data files from photocalorimetric experiments, PCA, using Universal Analysis. Let's first open several DSC PCA files from a previous session. From the graph menu, we select signals and decide for heat flow in Y1 and time for X. The heat flow is normalized in Watt per gram. Select View Parameter Block to check for the procedure which may be copied and pasted in the annotated box. This shows the shutter open and closed sections, where the light illuminates or not the sample. Select Graph Options to plot heat flow in multicolor according to the different sections of the procedure. These different sections come from the measurement procedure and are separated by a break in the data in order to differentiate them. There is also a function to ignore breaks in data, which allows us to plot the complete thermogram in only one section. To change this setting, select Graph menu and click Ignore breaks in data. Let's expand the exothermic peak. Click and drag a window with the left mouse button. The baseline should be extrapolated from the end of the reaction because it may not come back to the initial heat flow level, heat flow at start when the shutter is closed. Illumination hits the sample when the shutter is open, whatever the sample reacts or not. The chemical reaction also changes the heat capacity of the material, so it changes the heat flow baseline level after the reaction. To analyze the peak, we choose Analyze Integrate Extrapolated. This gives four cursors for the calculations. Points 1 and 2 identify the region of the curve to extrapolate to. Point 3 and 4 define the baseline to be extrapolated. Two cursors should be placed at the beginning of the ectotherm, one in the baseline before the peak starts, and one in the slope of the exotherm before the peak maximum. This defines the region where the extrapolated baseline crosses the heat flow curve. If two of the four points are placed on top of each other, the baseline is extrapolated to be an horizontal baseline from the two points to intersect the data between the two other points. Multiple flashes during the same experiment are possible. This is done in order to check if the material has completely reacted or not. In this typical file with different flashes and the heat flow associated. After the first one, the sample has almost completely reacted. The different peaks can be integrated for comparison. Analyze integrate peak linear or extrapolated baseline. Modulated DSC is a technology which allows the measurement of heat capacity of a material while it's isothermally cured. Heat capacity change during reaction can then be quantified. This file is a MDSC quasi-isothermal measurement. We select graph signals, heat flow and reversing CP plots versus time heat flow axis Y1, referencing CP axis Y2. X axis should be time, then we click OK. Select Y2 axis reversing CP. Curve value at X command gives the heat capacity value before and after the exotherm in joule per graph per Celsius.
the heat capacity change can be calculated by the signal change common in the analyze menu between two cursors in time interval, then accept limits. Today, we reviewed how to analyze DSC and modulated DSC PCA experiments. Custom report and macro analysis can be prepared to automate and customize results. TA Universal Analysis is available on website. Please join us for more TA Tech tips. Thank you for your interest.